So this is a raw file I downloaded from the bank and it has the transactions for last month. So before you bring it into manager, you have to clean this up. It has to have five specific columns and most of that data is already here. Um, so what the first thing I usually do, actually this one has September transactions, which I'm gonna delete out. So I only want August 1 through August 31 on here. Now it also has this account number column, which is irrelevant, I don't need that. Again, whenever you download from the bank, it's going to have extra details or may not have all the necessary details, but I'll show you what you need. So one of the columns has to be titled date. Then you have to have a, uh, actually, let me go, I can just rename this. It has to be reference. And then you have to have a payee column, description column, and amount. So whenever you bring it in manager, it's going to look for these five column titles whenever you're importing a CSV file. And so we don't, I don't need type or category. And now this particular client makes notes. And so one thing I do, well, you got two options here. So you can first go ahead and clean up these checks inside the spreadsheet if you want, like the ones that were actual checks, you can go ahead and write the payee here, uh, whichever line has a payee or you could go ahead and kind of clean this up, import it, and then edit those transactions in manager, which I'll show you also. So pretty much, um, so the description is going to stay. And now these descriptions I gave on the far right, I'm going to concatenate the fields. So what I usually do is set up formula concatenate, uh, put a space between it put a hyphen, space, space, and then, so I just usually start from the first one and then copy it down. All right, so now this description I just created has, you see, cleaning supply in it too. This one doesn't because I can concatenate it. All right, so I'm gonna copy that, paste special values only, so I can get rid of these two columns, okay. So the way this is set up right now with the date, reference, payee, description, and amount, it's good to come into manager. However, there's one other thing I like to do <clears throat> because when you create the bank rules in manager to help you kind of uh, make the transaction coding efficient, that it will be reading for, you can set up rules that will look for those particular words in the description column. And so uh, note here where it says check, in the description, it just has check, but it doesn't have the check number. So one other thing I like to do is I just like to, I'm gonna sort this, um, concatenate, or you can either just go ahead and put in the check number, check and 4584, or you know, uh, or if you already have the payee, we'll just call it XYZ. And so I'm just gonna use this as an example, ABC, person Smith, and I'm just gonna leave the other three blank for now. but. Well, another thing you can do is you can concatenate um, check number and you see on the formula for concatenate, I'm adding like hyphens and spaces, which kind of helps with the formatting. So that, if you haven't used a concatenate, just um, start using it, it's pretty handy. You can join different fields. All right, so you see how I joined these three here and I'm gonna paste special again values okay so again this may look like a lot of work but it's going to save you time later on uh, this is just me kind of walking you through it once you become more uh, used to it, and if it will become a lot quicker for you but again this description column is where the manager software is going to be looking for your rules if you set up bank rules and i suggest setting up rules so later on it helps you uh, speed up the coding and transactions and stuff okay so Everything else is okay right now. Um, these, I'm not gonna worry about payees because they were like debit or credit transactions. And the only ones I'm gonna worry about payees are checks. So now this spreadsheet is ready to bring into manager in the bank import section. Again, date, reference, payee, description, and amount. Those are the five important columns you need to have when you import uh, CSV files into manager. So next I'll show you how to import it. So here I'm in manager. So to import the bank feed file, 
go to your bank cash accounts, whichever bank account it belongs to. You can click on clear balance or you can click right here where it says import bank statement. Um, I've just got a habit of clicking on the balance. So let's just say it's for Regions Bank. I'll click on that balance. Ignore these right here. They're from an old demo. So I'm going to hit import bank statement. Uh, make sure you set the right bank is selected. Choose file. Here I've got my CSV. So now I'm going to hit next. Now here it's giving you a summary of how many transactions you're bringing in. Um, closing balance after you bring them in. Import. So now you see here it has 31 uncategorized receipts, 49 uncategorized payments. I usually start with the receipts. So I've got rules built into this where if it detects the word payment tech, here I'll show you. Or actually if it detects deposit, sorry. If it detects deposit, then it's going to suggest I put it towards undeposited cash and credit cards. And again, this is going to be unique to your business or company. So you'll create that rule however you want. But now whenever it's has a green suggested account, I can either select them all and hit batch update, or I can go into each one and select it one by one. But if I know these are all correct, I can just do batch update, bring them in. So that takes care of my receipts. Now on categorized payments, that's one takes a little longer. Um, <clears throat> so here I have a rule. You see how it's already recognized and this is repairs and maintenance. That's because the Home Depot is a rule I created. If it sees Home Depot in the description, it's going to suggest repairs and maintenance. Um, so some of these it doesn't recognize because I haven't set up those rules maybe. So let's say I want to set up a new rule where um, advertising. So I know this one every month when it comes in, it should if it sees a word. Just, or you can put bits and pieces, bits and pieces of a word too. If, I, if it just sees this, then we'll just put it towards advertising promotion. Create that rule. And now anywhere it sees that brief description in the description, it will suggest advertising promotion. And just like on the deposits, I can go ahead and just select them all if I think they're all correct, the ones that are green. And I can hit batch update and it'll bring them in. So on the checks, if you remember, oops, I mentioned right here, uh, the ones I added the payee, you see how the payee is already in the description. The ones I did not, they're blank. Now I got two options. I can go ahead and create a rule just saying anytime you see this vendor, put it towards. Um, so XYZ company, put it towards, let's say, contract labor. Okay, for example. So from now on, if it sees that description, it will suggest contract labor. But now the ones that I did not add a payee, I can just click edit. Um, so we'll just make something up. And I like to always put the in a description too. Because the description box uh, is very searchable in Manager. So if you're on your general ledger or if you're on your payments receipts uh, detail screen, you can search for specific strings and it will look in the description box. And we'll just hit contract labor or whatever chart of account you set up. And then once I hit, oh, and then in the reference box, I like to put the check number or the reference number. It doesn't populate that for some reason. Uh, and you can, if you want to add more description here, you can do that. So I'm not going to. Once you hit update, it goes away from this suspense list because now you've given it a category. So that's pretty much how you um, import a bank feed file. And again, now if I would have had the, uh, let's see, let me go back here. Instead of the CSV file, I could have also imported a QBO or a, or a QIF file out of my bank. And that would have brought everything in just like it did here. Um, but let me know if you have any questions or any other specific things you would like to see. Thanks.